Diddy has got an update, and the first thing in the update log is the spinny wheel. 10 new spin tickets by a chance at 8 random rewards. Spin tickets can be earned in login and triumph rewards. Although I will probably just buy three of them to see if I can get anything out of them. So yeah, let's gamble! Is it worth buying this the spin tickets? Probably no. You're probably better off just winning them through triumphs. Now, instead of the daily login being only for 7 days, now it's actually for 30 days. As you can see, day 1, day 2, day 3, day 7. On day 14, you get the premium crate. Day 21, another premium crate. Day 28 is a free nuke. And day 30 is a free deluxe crate. If I recall correctly, this is the only way to constantly get a free deluxe crate. Other than, you know, spinny wheels, but that's random. This one is guaranteed deluxe crate at day 30. Which, you know, that's actually pretty nice. Uh, more about this update though, what was added is round revives. Added revive tickets and I both through. <clears throat> added revive tickets. Use a revive ticket on death to refund all towers and start off on the last wave. More ways to earn revive tickets coming. So if you die, you can just use a revive ticket so, you know, uh, revive yourself. Pretty simple. They lowered the price of time scale tickets. Now it's only like 29 Robux for three of them. So it's like 10 Robux each. So it's not that expensive anymore. I don't remember how much they used to be because I didn't, I don't really use them. New skins. Blazing Boy to Premium, Baseball Mortar to Deluxe, Golden Plushy Minigun as exclusive. And mind you, uh, in the previous video, I said that the Golden Pack would come with it, but apparently no, you don't get the Golden Pack. Tank Accelerator as Content Creator, Five Soul Sanctuary as Content Creator, Dax Rex Engineer, Fixed Eclipse Commander, Fixed... Uh, they spread my name wrong. Did they, did they fix me? Hopefully they did. Because my guy didn't have the Watermelon Slice. They also revamped the Tenth Rewards. I don't think a map now guarantees an item drop. Item drop depends on random chance and difficulty. Lowered triumph coin bonus by half to compensate for guaranteed item drops. I think some people will li like this change and some will not. So every time you win a match, you are guaranteed to get something out of it. They also change how leaderboards work. Now you don't have to be top one to get the name tag. And bug fixes. They also fixed the last challenge. Oops, all slimes. They pretty much nerfed it. Coming soon, on any work. And for the tower changes, Demo Man was buffed, Hunter was buffed, Sniper I think also was buffed, Paint Boy, my boy, he was buffed, I think. Ace Pilot got nerfed. As the update log said that they fixed my skin, but I have two guns now. Okay. So here's the new lobby. It, it looks pretty clean, not going to lie, look at this. It looks decent, I cannot lie. So here's the paint baller, which actually deals no damage for some reason. I think it's bugged. Yeah, paint baller does no damage. What if I upgrade it? Does it do damage now? Oh, it does damage now. And this pla... Wow, this splash is so massive. What the hell? Okay, so he's bugged on level zero, but he works on... What did do to him? Why is he so good now? If he wasn't bugged at level 0, this tower is good now. For early game at least. Look at this. He just... He shot twice! I, I know this is multiple mode, but he still like only shot twice and the entire wave just died. What is this man on? Okay, let's upgrade him even further. Let's get him to level 2. Which all... Um, oh my goodness gracious. Paint baller is so good now. I should upgrade him even further for 1000. What happened to your gun? Okay, so pro tip when using paint baller, don't level him up too much because he will just lose his gun. He's now kind of useless. But one thing I am... Um, I want to see is if they actually fixed my commander skin. And they kind of did. 
they, I got them my watermelon slice back, but my face is still a little bit. So here's my max skin. Okay, and APC wise, uh, yeah, uh, it's still the default ones. But yeah, that's it for the update, I think. It's mostly balance changes, daily wheel spin, and changes to like how items work, how you get those items. I will cover maybe the balance changes in a separate video, but for now, uh, see ya.